His Excellency the President fulfilled a constitutional mandate by coming to Parliament to address the nation and to tell us the health of the Ghanaian economy. Barely before we finish addressing and debating the issues that emerge, we were now confronted once again yesterday with a second state of the nation's address. Of course, when you have a very exuberant vice president, you would always find competition even with your constitutional mandate. And so yesterday, the people of Ghana were served with what we already knew, that the MPP government, after having done all they could to win power, after having held some of the lectures that we don't even have the appropriate words to describe, are still delivering lectures in government when they are supposed to manage the economy. Your Excellency, the management of an economy is a very serious business and cannot be reduced to comic relief and inciting the public against expectations that cannot be met. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, whilst the people of Ghana were jubilating yesterday, especially our, our brothers and sisters who are into imports and are into distributive trade, reminiscent of the days of the first budget of the MPP in 2017, when the people of Abu Abosokan were celebrating the abolition of import duties. I said to myself, this is the second deceit that will hang the MPP forever in 2020.